Hey guys, Nate and Scott here from Player Court. Today we're going to talk about why the backhand volley is so difficult and how you can improve it. That's right, and this video is for players of all levels, but if you're not in the Player Court community, try it for free and get your Player Court rating. All right, so you've been working on that backhand volley, and maybe you've got a continental grip, a variation of it, or maybe even an eastern backhand grip, which is not bad as a teaching tool. Some people even adopt it. But something about the backhand volley is still really difficult. It's breaking down, it's not a weapon, and it's not reliable. What we're gonna talk today is about the joint position of the non-dominant arm. And what ends up happening is that everybody is so focused on their dominant arm, they end up playing this shot with just the one hand. And we all know that two hands are better than one, so this is all about incorporating our non-dominant hand to assist the backhand volley. All right, so regardless of what grip, as long as you're not like semi-Western, as long as you have a variation of, of, of continental, maybe even Eastern, this tip is gonna help a ton. So guys, hit that like button if you're excited to see what the missing link is on your backhand volley. And guys, hit the subscribe button. It helps our business an absolute ton. I know that we say it in every video, but it really does. It helps us tremendously. All right, so we're talking about the role of the non-dominant arm here and how it makes the backhand so much better, specifically the backhand volley so much better. Batman is great, but Batman still needs Robin, right? Like there's still a role to be played over here. It's not as great as what Batman's doing, but there's still a role. So what we're talking about is the joint position and what we're doing off the left arm. A lot of us are hitting backhands where either we're taking the hand off the racket way too early, leaving the wrist and racket unsupported, or we're dropping our elbow and when we go to volley, we're changing the direction of the racket face, the strings, to where we're popping up and hitting this weak volley. So here's the fix. We wanna make sure that we're raising the elbow in supporting the rocket, giving it greater leverage over the ball. And here's the analogy that I tell my students. If you had an old worn out fence on a windy day and all you had was a two by four to fix it, how would you set up the two by four? So if it's too close to the fence, right, hence the elbow being dropped, there's really not much support. That fence is gonna blow down. So we wanna take this two by four and we wanna get it behind the fence. We wanna set it up so that it just digs in the ground, it can't go anywhere. And this is what we're doing with the elbow. I'm raising my elbow up, supporting the racket, and as I start to transfer my weight forward, then the hand releases, but it's got enough support to initiate the volley. And then I'm just using the pace on the incoming ball and my footwork to give it additional pop. All right, in this first demo, Scott is showing a common problem that players have, and it's simply not getting the left hand on the racket at all, giving it no support whatsoever, just kind of dangling the racket out there on an island all by itself. In this second variation, what we're seeing is the left hand on the racket, but the elbow dropped way down, uh, playing really tight. The elbows are playing tight to the body, looking like a Velociraptor, and this is a no-no. We'll get back to the coaching in just a second, but first, we really appreciate you watching our channel, and as a thank you, we wanna give you our six-part net mastery video course for free. This course will help you dominate the net. We normally sell it for 100 bucks, but if you stick around to the end of this video, we'll give it to you for free. All right, let's get back to the coaching. In this final version, we're looking at the corrected measure of getting the elbow up high, giving the racket plenty of support, and sticking the volley. All right guys, so remember the non-dominant hand on your volley is really important as is keeping that elbow up. As you saw in the examples, when I went with no hand, it's just too limp of a volley. I'm popping that thing up in the air. Same situation when that elbow is tucked in close to my ribs, I'm gonna float that volley. If I want more control and I want more pop and stick on that volley, keeping that elbow up gives me that leverage that I need. Yeah, nobody wants a limp biscuit for a volley. 
<laughs> All right, guys. I'm so, <laughs> guys, if you are just starting out and you want to learn more about the backhand volley, this is just one piece that we talk about in another video that we've linked below. But we're going to give you all the information on how to hit the proper backhand volley. So be sure to check that out. Yeah, guys, definitely check that video out. And as promised, down below the first comment, you're going to see how to access our volley mastery course. If you want to take a deeper dive into all things net game, you can check that out. There's also a free link down there to check out our community if you're not in the player court community where we match you with other players no matter where you are in the world and give you a ton more video instruction tailored to what you've got going on. There's a free trial link down there for you to check that out as well. We'll see you guys soon.